Hey guys, uh, we are going to take a look at what is going to be my last Geek Gear box, at least for a while. Um, this has actually been sitting in my room for a little bit as well. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little concave because I've had some things sitting on it. Um, honestly, the white box threw me off and I kept thinking that this was a different box that I had already opened. Uh, and then when I was cleaning up my room, I realized that this is a box that I never did get around to actually opening. Um, I did decide to put a hold on Geek Gear for a while and explore some other boxes. So um, the Harry Potter box, I had just received my third of the three series. So that one canceled right away. And then the Geek Gear box had one more to ship before renewal. So that's this one. Um, and then I discontinued it. So if you're interested in Geek Gear, I'll go ahead and put a link down below. Just be aware that it is a UK box, so you'll need to take that into consideration when you're factoring in shipping costs and whether or not that's worth it for you. So um, just be aware of that. And let's go ahead and get into this. I think this was actually from a couple months ago, so I have no idea what's actually in here. So let's check it out. Um, all right. So the first thing that we have is a family guy. Um, it looks like it's a pencil case of some kind. I'm not entirely sure. And there's a tag in my way. So let us open this up and see what this is. It is a vinyl case with dual zippers, and it is a, yeah, it's like a little um, school case. So you have a notepad, a ruler, a pen, eraser, and places for all of that to be in. And then on the other side, we have, oh, markers and pencils. Oh, that's really cute. Uh, I don't have any use for this, but this will be a fun thing to donate, so I'm alright with that. Uh, next up we have a Rick and Morty t-shirt. There we go. Pretty bright green design. Um, I'm not a Rick and Morty fan, so I'm going to pass on that. Um, okay, we have a DC Comics coaster set, which is kind of neat. It looks like they pulled off panels from original comic books to color those. And are they cardboard? Let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah, it's kind of the standard cork backing. Uh, but since I have it open, we have Green Lantern. Uh, we have The Flash, we have Batman, and we have Superman. So that's cool. Uh, again, not something I'm interested in keeping only because we have a lot of coasters already and we don't really use them, um, but that'll be an easy thing to pass along. Uh, we have something else that I'm not going to be keeping, but I have got the perfect person to give this to. So we have a Superman light, and it looks like it's got a base that has then his silhouette, which kind of illuminates up, and this is actually really, really cool because <coughs> my... Um, my nephew by association he's not biologically my nephew but a uh, good friend of mine her little boy they are moving into a house and when they move into a house they are planning on doing his bedroom entirely in superheroes so how perfect is that um a spoiler thing which i will look at momentarily uh we have a stylus pen people use stylus pens anymore? I don't even know. Uh, but it is a Marvel Comics stylus pen. So it is, it does have a ballpoint pen and then of course you can use the stylus on the other end. I don't know 
if people use styluses very much anymore, but that's kind of neat. Um, and then our print, uh, which will probably also go to my friend for her little boy's room, but it is uh, kind of a Justice League-esque print with all of our superheroes and our, our villains. So, very cool. All right, and let's take a quick look at this. Okay, so January <laughs> was actually when this box is from. Whoops. Um, okay, so we had the Superman or Batman light. We got Superman. I'm totally fine with that. We got the Justice League print, the Rick and Morty shirt, the DC coasters, the Marvel stylus pen. So, of course, you could have gotten different characters with that. And then the Family Guy pencil case for all of those items. So that was it for the January Geek Gear box. And um, <clears throat> there wasn't really anything in this box for me this time around. However, I am really excited about some of the superhero stuff, which I know is going to be very well received by my friend for her little boy's room. So... Uh, those items will definitely not be wasted, but at the same time, um, the fact that there was nothing in here really that really appealed to about staying with me um, just kind of reinforces my decision to cancel it at this point. So I'm glad that I did that. Um, let me know your thoughts down below on this box, this last box for Geek Gear that I will be getting. And um, if you got it, you know, did you like it? And I look forward to showing you guys some new stuff. So stay tuned for that. See you next time. Bye.